in August 2016, Matt Centroitz became the first uh, U.S. runner to win the men's 1500 meter race uh, since 1908. And in this video, I'd like to talk about uh, four different ways that um, that his winning this race and also his family have inspired me. So the first way is just having to do with um, strategy. Um, so the the 1500 meter race is normally one with a fairly uh, slow time. Uh, usually the the runners kind of just nobody wants to go out. They're all kind of hang back, and then usually. Uh, the last 150 meters or 200 meters is a mad sprint. Um, so usually the, the winning time is not that um, fast. So this is a, a picture with about 400 meters to go. There's Matt Centerworth right there. And um, Matt was, was hoping to get a medal in this race. The, the favorite is this tall guy, Kiprop, back here, who's actually run a 326, 1500 meter. Uh, this race was actually run in th uh, one in 350, 24 seconds slower than what Kiprop has run in the past. Uh, so Matt was an was is an excellent runner, of course, uh, but you know he he didn't expect that he would be able to be, uh, beat Kiprop. His uh, coach Alberto Salazar, uh, in in preparation for this race and in, in the likelihood that uh, it would come down to a sprint at the end. Um, had Matt run multiple 400 meter uh, uh, pieces when he was tired. And so in other words, like 400 meter, do a 400 meter piece, uh, don't rest very long, do it again. And um, so his, his strategy was if it came down to a slow race, then Matt would go at like 400 meters to go, just start sprinting. And um, of course, the other runners, if they had been uh, running at a slow pass, pace up to this point, uh, but they may not have tr have trained to be able to specifically run basically a 400 meter race. Uh, and uh, with this strategy, Matt was hoping to get a medal, and he ended up winning the race, of course. Uh, so the the thing I like about this or that uh, is Matt really understood uh, the problem at hand, and, and his coach Alberto Salazar. And uh, this reminds me a lot of engineering design. Uh, first step in an engineering design process is to first clearly identify the problem. And uh, uh, I've been in, involved with first robotics teams in the past, for instance. And sometimes we came up with a really neat mechanism or really neat design, and we get to the competition and it turned out to be not very useful. So the uh, it's really important in design to really understand the problem that you that needs to be solved and make sure that's the problem that you do solve. So here's Matt uh, winning the race and here's his expression after winning the, the race uh, again in disbelief uh, such a such a great moment. The um, so here's the um, the address to this video you, you really should watch it it's just uh, amazing video up here and um, but better yet here's the, here's the reaction of his family and friends so anyways the the as I said the the there's four different levels I'd like to talk about of inspiration from um, from this race and from Matt and his family and uh, the first is just really thinking through the problem coming up with a good strategy and uh, I'll talk about the next inspiration in the next video.